Hello, so I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to rig a character in Toon Squid, just like I have this character. I'm going to start from scratch and make a complete new character. First thing you want to do is press the library button, press the plus button, and create an animation clip. Name it the body part of the character. I forget to do so here, but I eventually name it. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm drawing the head of my character. Uh, I end up drawing this all on one layer, uh, color and line art, because I'm just doing it as a demonstration. You can press the name of your body part of your character on the top left, and it'll bring you back to your main animation. Now we're going to make the next body part where we just repeat the process that we did in the beginning. You know, you create an animation clip, you name it the body part. But this time, uh, when we go to draw, we're gonna import our other body part, which in this case, it's the head. So we're gonna click library and head, and we have it on our layers now. So if we go to a new layer, which is our empty layer, where we're gonna draw the body. So we try to match the body size to the same size as the head so we can get our proportions correct. When you're done drawing it, make sure you move it around, uh, see if it looks good with the other body part. And when it does, uh, you go back to your main animation scene and you import it into the scene. Uh, put it on the layer below the head because their head is always going to be on the top layer. Uh, and then position it so it fits. Moving on to the next body part, which in this case it's the arms the same process that we did in the last two steps. I import the body so I know how the arms will sit on the body when it's drawn. I lower the opacity for the body um, so it's easier for me to see what I'm drawing and coloring. Um, make sure you zoom in so you can see each frame on the timeline because uh, this is going to be very important later on. So I draw my little arm here. Make sure that it fits and it looks good. And then when you go to color it, in this case, make sure you color it the same color as the body. So you close it off because I'm drawing it all on one layer. Uh, and then I just bucket fill it and it should line up perfectly with the body and actually have like the same color and look seamless. So the next part is the most important part of all of this. Uh, make sure you, you extend your frame right, and make each frame in this case, we're just going to make four frames, each position of the hand or arm. Um, so we're just going to do some quick arms here in different positions. We're basically repeating the same thing we did with the first arm, you know, the same color and all that stuff. Close it off, bucket fill, boom, done. And just repeat that. Go to the next frame, do the same thing. And when you got your arms drawn out, each frame, each one frame, you want to make markers of the frames. You can make markers by tapping on the frame number and it will tell you to set marker. And you gotta name the marker anything you want. In this case, I just name it, you know, arm down or fist or high five. This is very important, so make sure you do this. You also want to make sure that you turn off the body layer because we don't need this. This is for arms only. Then you want to go back into your main animation and import your arms and put it on your timeline. Uh, put it into a layer that would make sense. Uh, move it around, see where it fits. Then you want to line it up. Line up your line art uh, in your layers. So in this case, I'm not really feeling the hand going behind the head so I move it up above the head and I line it up to where the lines work so when it changes it's perfect it's seamless next we're gonna do is go into our symbol layer properties and scroll down to select from markers and you'll see our drawings that we just made now we can choose what hand pose that we have and want to use just go to the frame that you want to use it. 
So you just select any frame you want, and then you would press on the markers that we have, and it'll switch to it. 